This video is the first in a series about hearing from God. Your relationship with God is the most important relationship you will ever have. It will bring healing, it will bring hope, it will bring joy and freedom to your life. If you don't have this ability to listen and hear from Him, if there's something blocking the way, then your life, your serenity is going to suffer. That's just a fact of life. So this is one of the most important things you can do in order to improve your life and improve the way you live it. Really, it, this is how we, again, develop that relationship that will hear, heal us spirit, soul, and body, but it's also how we hear his plan for our life and how we can be effective in God's kingdom for him. So how do you hear God's voice? Well, the first thing you need to do is to prepare your heart. That's right, prepare and focus your heart and your mind on God. And one of the ways that you can do that is to read the word, spend some time worshiping and listening to worship music. All of those things take our focus off of the world, the things we see around us, and onto the spiritual, onto God. The second thing we can do is to let your heart be willing to hear from him. So many times we're actually not wanting to hear from him. We're just wanting him to grant our wishes and, and hear from us. We want to talk at him, but we have to be willing and open our heart to say, okay, God, I don't know what you're going to say to me. I want to listen to you, even if it's something I don't want to hear. I am willing to hear from you. I am willing to receive from you, even if it's something I don't necessarily want to hear. And then third, we need to be quiet and actually listen. If we are in that quiet place, then we're better able to maybe hear something instead of just that chatter that maybe we're, we're used to doing, God, but this, and, and arguing with him on this, and I can't believe you didn't this, and why didn't you that? Instead, if we can just be quiet and listen. For me, it took asking just yes or no questions at the beginning because that's maybe all I could hear was yes or no or left or right and very, very simple. But it was those times in the listening where I began to discern his voice and began to receive from him in those times. And it took seeking after him in that way of being quiet and listening and opening my heart to him. This takes some time. It's not a one and done. It's not going to happen in five minutes. If you're someone who does devotionals every morning and then and then gets up and leaves, maybe instead of just doing the devotional, adding some time, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes afterwards, and just listening to what it is God wants to share with you. So again, that is preparing your heart and focus. Let your heart be willing and then actually be quiet and listen. Practice that this week and leave me some comments below and let me know what that experience was like from you and what you may have heard from God.